recording? Yes. We are on Church Street in Burlington and this is a marketplace. This is called Church Street Market and there's a lot of different stores. It's sort of like a big outdoor mall, really. Um, there's a lot of restaurants and uh, unique stores and such that we've kind of just wandered through and checked out. It's really kind of a neat little place. Um, definitely would recommend if you're coming here to Burlington that you plan a little time, maybe have an evening meal or something here. Um, would not recommend Mondays or Tuesdays. Seems like a lot of restaurants are closed on those days, so later in the week would be better. But this is kind of a fun place to kind of just come and wander around. Greetings from North Beach Campground in Burlington, Vermont. We've been here... Since Monday. Since Monday, so about four days. And this is our second time here, and it's actually a, a very nice campground, especially for the uh, visiting the Burlington area because it's right in the city. Right, right. Yeah, it's not, it's not too far to go downtown, and it's convenient. Um, there's a nice bike walking path right path along the campground right here. Right along the campground that runs right along Lake Champlain. Yeah, I think it's 30 miles long if you would do the whole thing. Right. We didn't. No, we, <laughs> we didn't. Unfortunately, we had planned to get the bikes down and take a ride, but once you get doing other things, you know, then by the time you get back to the campground, you're like, well... Well, we always, you know, we always have to give the dogs a walk. And right. so that's kind of always takes priority over anything. Right, So right. we ended up walking the dogs on the path quite a bit, not riding the bikes. One of the attractions here in Burlington is the bike path slash uh, jogging path or uh, walking path along the lake. And it goes right to our campground, and I understand it goes like 30 miles. From end to end, so there's quite a bit of a trail here that you can ride on, or skateboard, or walk, or run, whatever you're into. Right. And we did see a skateboard park along here, and there's a dog park, and of course you've got the uh, Lake Champagne right there, and you can check out the sailboats and such as you walk along. Right. And we're out for an evening walk with Monty and Zephyr, and they always enjoy a nice walk. Yep. And so do we. Yes. So we're resting a little bit and then we will walk back to the campground. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a nice path for all you dog walkers. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, there's a lot of activity around here. I mean, the, the lake and the water, there's sailboats out there. Right. Um, there's, the, there's a beach area here, so in the summertime this would be a very popular place to come and go swimming. It's a county, or it's a town park, it's not a county park, it's a town park, so... Mm -hmm. we, when we were here previously, we went to the Burlington Teddy Bear Factory. Vermont Teddy Bear Vermont Factory. Vermont Teddy Bear Factory, yes, thank you. Um, with Rich and Cindy from Love Subbing, and we'll post that video up here, so if you want to check that one out. But this trip, where did we go? We went to the Old Cider Mill, is that what it was called? The Old Cider Mill? That, yeah. In Waterbury? And then yesterday we went to the Ben and Jerry's factory in Waterbury. Yeah, so let's show you some video of both of those places. Cider Mill in Waterbury, Vermont.
stir strawberry rhubarb jam. We just went to the Cold Hollow Cider Mill and we bought a bunch of stuff. Obviously, donuts. cider, donuts, some strawberry uh, rhubarb jam, which is one of our favorites. And something we've never seen before, cider jelly. We got a dozen of these cider donuts, which we've already sampled, and they're very good. Definitely. As Diane can tell. And they're not that big, you can eat a dozen of them yourself, probably. Right. Very good. We might have to walk back and get some cider. <laughs> we'll do that now. Okay. You want to put that in the car? Yeah. In the truck? So we decided to go back and get some cider to go with our donuts. The cider, as well as the donuts, are very good. So, we'll just have to eat another donut. <laughs> well, help yourself. Okay. And like we said, they're very small, so you can eat more than one. Now, <clears throat> nothing says fall like uh, cider and donuts. at Ben and Jerry's uh, factory tour and our first stop was the ice cream line because that was the longest. So we got ourselves a couple of cones to sample the wares and I've got s strawberry ice cream and a waffle cone and what'd you get? Good chocolate chips and cherry Garcia. It's very good and it's nice and fresh from the factory. I don't know if it makes any difference where you get it from but it's nice and fresh. We're in Waterbury, Vermont. We've come back to the Ben and Jerry's factory. We were here on Monday, however, they are not open on Monday, so we just, And Tuesdays, they're not and open on Tuesdays. Right. So we decided to come back, and now we're just waiting. We have a few more minutes before we go on our factory tour. Right, you could get tickets for this online, which probably would have been a good idea, um, they, but they do have some same day tickets available. Um, we got here and you know we got a same-day ticket, but we're gonna have to wait two hours to go in So we spent at least an hour of that waiting to get ice cream and eating ice cream. So that worked out all right So it's almost 3 30 and we'll be headed back in zone so feel free to take any pictures down here all right so I think we have everybody off the vanilla vein or welcome to the flavor room 
So in this very room between the years of 1986 and 1995, this was actually Ben and Jerry's official research and development test kitchen. In that time, they created or perfected the likes of chocolate chip cookie dough, chocolate fudge brownie, cherry Garcia, all those really popular flavors that are still on the top 10 list to this day. Now, since that time, of course, that operation expanded out of this tiny room. They had to send it to our central headquarters in South Burlington, Vermont. There's an entire team of chefs and flavor gurus who come up with our new exciting flavors. Now, speaking of new and exciting, I do have a super exclusive flavor for you guys to try today. You cannot find it in scoop shops. You will not find it in pints. Are we excited for a brand new Ben & Jerry's flavor? Yeah. Awesome, because today we have broccoli cheddar chunks. <laughs> this is broccoli ice cream with kidney bean chunks and a cabbage cheddar cheese swirl. Now, if that sounds delicious now, it's going to feel even better later because there are 10 grams of fiber in every oh. serving. I would watch out for those kidney bean chunks, though, because of the water content. They froze absolutely solid. So I would try to eat around them or work on finding a really good dentist. Are we excited for broccoli cheddar chunk? No. All right, I've got an adventurous crowd here. A few people just just wanting to uh, to wait out in the car while we have our ice cream. Well, I don't blame you, um, but there's no joke here. This was a real flavor. They served it to real life people on April 1st, 2016. Uh, yeah, so if you drop by on April 1st any given year, we might have something just as edible for you. Uh, we made a pickle flavor. We've made a loaded baked potato. So you're welcome. We finished our tour at Ben and Jerry's. Unfortunately, you, we could not take video during the tour, at least of the factory part. So we only got a little bit of video of that. But it was kind of neat. We get to hear mostly about how they make ice cream because we hit one of the days when they clean the machines as they change flavors for the week. Right. They have to uh, clean their machines every 72 hours. Yeah. They can only At this particular plant, they can only manufacture one flavor of ice cream at a time. After they clean the machines, then they can do another flavor. Right. They basically have one uh, line that they can make ice cream on. They do have a larger plant in... It's also in Vermont. It's also in Vermont. I can't remember. And they, at that plant, they do have five different lines so they can manufacture five different flavors per day. Right. But the tour was kind of neat. You get a free sample of ice cream at the end. Yeah. Yeah, so that was neat. And, uh, yeah, they have the ice cream scoop shop right here. So you can... while you're waiting or after your tour, you can... Uh, Taking some ice cream. Right. Some more ice cream. Right. A larger, a larger cone, right. you could say. Yeah. Now the cost of the tour is six dollars, five dollars for seniors, one dollar for children. So it's pretty reasonable. I believe young children are free. Yep. And you do, you can get tickets same day, but they do recommend you getting tickets online. Um, if you get tickets online, you won't be like us and have to wait two hours for your tour. Right. Because the place is pretty busy. Yeah, I was surprised it was busy for a weekday. Yep. Well, I think we should head back to the campground. Yep, sounds like a good idea. Okay. Behind me is the Ben & Jerry's graveyard. This is where ice cream flavors go to die. Not every ice cream flavor is a hit. Like popcorn ice cream didn't quite make it, I guess. So you can go in here and you can check out all the flavors that didn't make it.
on our last leg of our trip and we're heading to another rally and this one's going to be the Canadian Thanksgiving slash Columbus Day weekend. Yep. We attended this rally last year and it, it's, a, it's a small rally, probably the, the majority, I think the most they, rigs they can have is about 40. Yeah. And it, on Saturday evening they do serve a full Thanksgiving dinner and from our experience last year it really is a wonderful meal yeah. and including desserts. Yep. And we've met some nice people there that we're looking forward to seeing again. Um, so we're, we're kind of looking forward to the whole event. Yeah. So there may be a few activities around that area that we will um, visit. And uh, we will be sure to video those as well. Yeah. So let's get going. We're all hitched up, ready to hit the road. we got to stop at the dump station, obviously. And then we're on the road. But we only got about a, an hour's drive, an hour and a half's drive, maybe. Yeah. So, so we'll check out all the leaves as we go along. Yeah, so not a long day at all. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, where are we at? Oh. <coughs> oh. So we're at Kensington. Killington Ken Mountain. Killing Killington Ski Resort. Yeah, and we took the gondola up to the top of the resort um, to check out the fall colors. And, and while we were up there, we had lunch. Yep, at the uh, lodge up there. 